Uh, we're finding science here at ECHO today, which is absolutely awesome. Elizabeth is here, and she is in charge of the youth programs, which is a very important part of ECHO, no doubt. Absolutely. And I know we're going to talk about colors here. Tell me the inspiration from this book. Tell yeah. me uh, why it's even here. Today we're using White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker as our inspiration, our launching off point for our activities today. I love to use children's books uh, to inspire and generate interest for kids, and then they want to learn more. That makes and sense. So, absolutely. So we're using our book today to learn more about color, okay. have our own explorations in color. Let's explore some color stuff. All right. Okay. We've got three colors. We've got our primary colors right here. we got blue, red, yellow. Okay. Um, if I was to mix this, Tom, can you make a prediction about what might happen if I mix some blue, say, with some red? Purple. Purple. All right, we're going purple. So let's see what happens. If we put a little bit of blue in our beaker, we're using a graduated cylinder full okay. of blue water, putting some water in a beaker. We've got some red. Let's mix it in, see what we get. getting purple. Absolutely. Oh, if nice. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. You sure do. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we, you made a great prediction. We were able to test that and <laughs> Just you like were predicting right. the weather. That's well, right. this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you could be that accurate, that would be great going forward <laughs> hey, with, with your weather. So we could do one more if you want to. Okay, we, sure. What two colors would you like to try? Let's, uh, you want to do these two together? Or? Let's do it. All right, so we're starting with red. We can put okay. a little bit of red from our graduated cylinder into our beaker. Okay. All right, so we got some red in there. Yellow next? Is that I guess we're going? this is going to be pretty pink, right? Okay, Something like let's that? see what happens. If we mix red and yellow. Looks a little orange, huh? What do you see? I think you're right. I think it's more pinky with the red and the yellow together. Is okay, pink. okay. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about, you know, kids come to Echo. Yep. Do they have a chance to do stuff like this? Is... Yeah, every day we have activities up out in uh, our kids lab. This is the Champlain Kids Lab. So we do activities in the morning and activities in the afternoon. Um, something extra to get the kids using these science tools, using science words. We're just trying to build their science identity, yeah. give them the foundations for later learning. And I see a little more going on here. What yeah, the, these looks are like, all looks like dessert. What? Yeah, I would not eat that though. These are all <laughs> activities you can do at home to help your little ones explore more with color. So a little bit of baking soda, a little bit of vinegar, yeah, and some food color. So if we drop a little bit of the food color onto our baking soda, you notice a reaction happen. Yeah, you bet. So asking kids, what do you want to do? What do you observe? What do you, would you like to try next? What is, why do you think that's happening? Yeah. All of those are really great science questions to help generate uh, some, some conversation around what's going on. That is really cool stuff. What time does this happen here at ECHO? We, we do Pine Size Science in the morning from 10.30 to 11.30. Okay. And Wednesdays we have a story time um, where we use a story to help um, give us inspiration for activity and that's a little well. bit about what's going on today, yep. right? Wednesdays at 10.30 we do the story time. Fantastic. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Yeah. This is great stuff. Great having Good you Good things here. happening here at Echo.